One thing we can do anytime we have a, a single note line, like we do in this particular progression. We've got that line going on, so sometimes we can vary that. Now, in this particular instance, the bass player is going to keep doing the same thing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and go. So I'm going to really step right down. That would really be our E blues scale, which is minor pentatonic with a flat five, starting on the ninth fret. Seven. Chromatically down there with my blues note in there, flat five. And then go to the G there. So, so we got... Stepping right down through there, okay? That's one way we can do a little variation on the main riff without changing the riff too much. We can completely change it. You know, but then we're dealing with changing the riff so much that it almost becomes a different song. Now, if you're going to jam on this for a while, you know, after, you know, the first 45 minutes of playing the same thing, you might want to actually change the riff and do something different. Then you can experiment. But start with, to keep the riff still sounding the same, if you just do one, the first one going down, the next one coming, you know, going up and going down, this kind of makes it sound pretty cool. Then we're going to go to our G. As I said, we can do an open G. You know, we can do our bar G. Interesting thing you can do on this, you can actually do like a G7, you know, by doing the pinky out here. And then do an A7. Usually you're not going to play your, you know, dominant seventh chords all whole step apart like this. Works great in this case because it just got that. Because that takes me right, that note it fits right in with this to my next chord. Now I can do a couple riffs off of that because the way we were playing that was. So I could go. You know, I could do anything right here in basically my E minor pentatonic shape that's right here, which is my third position of my E minor pentatonic scale. Handy to have it right here where I can get to it. Okay. Now the other thing that I can do is I can... Um, actually do that chord and move it up the neck and go up here, right, where I'm on the 12th fret, doing the bar at the 12th fret and playing basically a dominant 7th chord, and then with my pinky here on the 15th fret, 1st string and 2nd string, I can play that, which is the same chord as this. Real Stevie Ray Vaughan kind of thing, he did a lot of... Did a lot of those kind of sounds. So it's the same chord, just moved up to a higher register.